What is that? We got a comic chest! The one and only comic book store to your door. Or what I like to say is comic chest is the best. If you recall, the last comic chest I got had a little uh, flyer inside saying, you know what? December, we're gonna do X Men month. X Men X Mas. December of X. The theme of this month is X Men, dudes. But you know what's cool? Even though there's a theme to this month, every single individual box is unique and different still. It is the best. Let's crack her open. Okay, got our little personalized information card here. Merry X-Men. <laughs> Thank you. Comic chest. Thank you. I see there's a slight correction here too. Instead of one boxed collectible in this box, I got two. I think I was able to cash in on that Black Friday deal. Nice. Hey, we got another flyer. Coming soon. Next month is a Fantastic Four box. Awesome. I love getting that little preview for the next box. It's nice. Don't see Geek Fuel doing that. Uh, got a little sticker here. Looks like a Star Wars sticker. If I had to guess, I'd say from... The Phantom Menace? I don't know, you tell me which Star Wars this is from. I'm pretty sure it's Phantom Menace, but I could be wrong. All I know is that this scene is definitely the most entertaining scene in all of Star Wars. Wouldn't be Christmas without uh, some candy canes. Wait a second. <gasps> Woo! Got some playing cards. <laughs> Power Rangers playing cards. <laughs> nice. Got the White Ranger on there. Formerly the Green Ranger, Tommy, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. I was a 90s kid that was obsessed with Power Rangers, like every 90s kid was. And I definitely had these cards. <laughs> uh, yeah, that takes me back. Awesome. We got Billy and Kelly doing some, uh, I don't know. Yoga? Straight up single card of Billy there. Goldar, that's what's up. Uh, get the ranger. Uh. Goldar and Tommy there. Yeah. Goldar and Tommy. You got Billy all suited up. Uh, this monster is the praying mantis. Nice. Black ranger fighting some uh, the putties. Right? Putties? I think they're called putties. Yeah. Adam, the new black ranger. Okay, I dig his shoes. There you go, new Black Ranger. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the regular collectible first. If this is your first time seeing a comic chest, take notice, every item is individually wrapped. That's really nice. Ooh, all right, nice. We got Angel. Oh, that's awesome. The first appearance of Angel in X-Men number one. That's dope. Yeah, this is some first class shit. Nice. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have anything Angel. I might have an Archangel around here. Oh, yeah, I do. I have an Archangel right there. I do have an Archangel. But I don't have him as regular Angel, especially from the original first class. Let's just go ahead and uh, get rid of this box here. Awesome. Angel. Old school. And backside for the wings. Very cool. Pack of nostalgia cards. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, wow, these, uh, damn, these take me back. When I was a kid, X-Men playing cards were like everything to me. I collected all of them. And then like an idiot, I decided to get a Pog making machine. You guys remember Pogs? It's 
Milk's the official World Dog Federation milk cap maker. For the first time ever, you can make your own milk caps. It's cool because it's totally easy. Just load in the picture, line it up, twist, and bam! Make the world's biggest, coolest collection. No. Too young for pogs. Come on. Anyway, I got a pog making machine and I just made pogs out of all my X-Men cards. I ruined so many. Luckily, the comic chest is rebuilding my card collection. Jean Grey, Cyclops, most underrated. Never gets enough credit. Go read some comics, motherfuckers. This is a famous battles card. Cable versus Strife. The complicated history of Cable. Oh my god, it's awesome. And then you got your Omega Reds. How has Omega Red not shown up in a movie yet? He's one of Wolverine's coolest villains. This is what was up back in the day, these, uh, these metal reflective cards. <laughs> yes. This one's Bishop. 90s kid me would go nuts over this. I'd probably make a pog out of it. Vintage action figure. <laughs> nice. I had one angel, and now I got an archangel. Yes. Either I had this or one of my friends had this back in the day. I don't think I had this, but it's freaking cool, man. Oh yeah, he's got the wing action. So, not gonna lie, Angel back in the day, he was, uh, he was pretty cool, but uh, you know, he just had wings. So, uh, Apocalypse made him one of Apocalypse's four horsemen and uh, made him into Archangel and made him totally badass. Yes. Look at that. Wing action. He actually flies, can you believe it? Yeah, let's go bonus collectible next. I think that's the right choice. Listen, I'm excited for this. <laughs> yes! We got a gambit. That's what's up. So, funny thing. Oh, here, here, here he is in the box. Boom. Gambit. The romantic of the group. I'll take these. You must like to play cards. I like solitaire, okay? Unless I got someone to play with. So I will say on Black Friday, I uh, got a little tipsy and I went on a website and uh, ordered a bunch of these. I ordered this exact Funko Pop. And guess what? Got lost in the mail. I got a refund. Never got my gambit. Luckily, got them right here. Dude, that's what's up, mon cher. Mon cher, it is a me, Gambit. How do you do like a Cajun accent? I bought the we play some cards. I don't know how to do a Cajun accent, sorry. Don't you ever get tired of listening to yourself? Not when I'm talking about you, Cher. There you go, Gambit, one of the fan favorites. And he's slinging cards. I am so glad I got this because I was very disappointed before. It's almost like the comic chest can read my mind. Uh, do you guys know what time it is? It's time for some hero clicks. Get ready to experience the world's number one collectible miniatures game in Hero Clicks. The tabletop nerd action figure game to play with your friends. Rotate your character's unique patented combat dial as you take damage. Watch as your powers change throughout combat. And with every comic chest, my team gets stronger and stronger, baby. Whenever I'm allowed to get together with some people and actually hang out, I'm gonna destroy them. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. This is some first class shit. Got myself a little X-Men team. First class style. Yes. All right, my dude Cyclops. How do they get this detail considering how small it is? Yeah, you see, you just click the bottom there and that's how you play the game. He's a hero and he clicks. Jean Grey, or uh, Marvel Girl back then. Jean Grey, same difference. The Beast doing some uh, gymnastics. And Professor X. I don't have anything Professor X, so I'm uh, pretty excited about this. Another vintage action figure. Yes. For what you get in this box, the value is unreal. It's unreal. This is the most valuable box you could possibly get.
Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Omega Red, baby. Yes. Oh, I love it. I, man. A friend of mine had this when I was a kid, and uh, I was pretty jealous. And uh, now I have one, and he doesn't. So, whose life is better now? <laughs> Look at this mofo. That's about the best that the Soviet Union can offer right there. He beat the piss out of Wolverine many times. My first Omega Red. I love it. Omega Red, Omega Red. We got one more item in this box. And this one item is actually ten items. Comic books, man! Merry X-Men to you, Comic Chest. Thanks for doing such a great job. So much better than Geek Fuel. Dude! Holy shit! Oh wow. This sucker is thick. That's almost the size of a trade. Nice. Woo! It's worth a decent amount too. So what you'll find about Comic Chest is that uh, not only do they bag and board these things fresh, but uh, they include a comic grade card in the back, and that tells you exactly what your comic's worth on the streets. See, this guy's worth six dollars. Crazy. What's up? These are thick. He, man, comic chest. Hooking it up. I am gonna read all of these. Let's look at the arc first. Every comic chest gives you uh, at least one comic book arc and then a bunch of loose comics as well. And uh, I'll take them all because comics are the best. So we got the X-Men Liberators series, fighting for mutant freedom. Got X-Men doing some liberations. Wolverine, Nightcrawler, Colossus, yes. This kind of looks like a whacked out version of Mojo. It might be, I, don't, I can't tell. Maybe, maybe something new. That's cool. We were just talking about him. Omega Red, yes. Oh, looks like he already took care of Wolverine. I'm gonna have to check that out, see what happened. Look, it would appear that the Liberators are uh, these characters and looks like they're on adventures and it looks awesome. Look at that cover, man. <laughs> that is trippy. This is so 90s, I can feel myself getting younger. I haven't read too much X-Factor, so I'm excited to check this out too. Another X-Factor. Is that my boy? That's my dude, Forge. Yeah, Forge is my dude. Forge is the fucking man. If you don't know who Forge is, then, uh, I don't know. Look it up. Weapon X of Sauron. Yeah. X-Men Unlimited. Some more Sauron there. Love me some Sauron. Oh, very cool. Uncanny X-Men Nightcrawler Edition. That is a really cool cover, all dark and mysterious. It's like, oh, what's going on with Nightcrawl? I don't know, I'm gonna read it and check it out. Sweet! That's it, that's a comic chest. The December Xmas X-Men edition. The comic chest refuses to disappoint. I can't say a single bad thing about them. The value is uncanny. X-Men. They know how to take the nostalgia and wake it up in your brain. It's crazy. This is a nostalgia box. Every time I open a box, it's like opening a door to my own personal comic book store, and I can't get enough of it. Let's recap. In this box, we got 10 comic books, two box collectibles, two action figures, a set of hero clicks, and a pack of cards. That's what's up. Next month, they're doing a Fantastic Four theme, so that should be fun. You should order it. I haven't quite decided if I want to go for the Fantastic Four box yet, I have another idea I might want to go for, and that's what's dope about the comic chest. I have a choice. I'll link in the description, go to their Facebook, go to their Instagram, shoot them a message, they'll ask you what kind of nerd you are, and they'll give you the box that you would love. You can't argue with that. Okay, I've made quite a mess now, so I have to clean up. See ya! Subscribe!